It's finally here. Yes, it's the episode we've all been waiting for. It's the investment series on Financial Friday. In this multi-part series, we take you all the way back to season one when we spoke about investing in the Caribbean. Missed it? Click the link. But what is investing? Investing is the art of allocating money with the expectation of receiving some benefit in the future. This long anticipated series is sponsored by a brand new business in the market called The Cave Barbershop. Look out for its grand opening, it's coming soon. One of the investment series focuses on the differences between day trading and long-term investing. What do these terms mean? We'll find out. The number one rule of investing focuses on risk management. Before you start investing, ensure that you have an emergency fund and or life insurance. Always invest money you can afford to lose. So what does day trading and long-term investing mean? Day trading and investing for long term are both lucrative forms of investing and many traders they opt to do both. Day trading involves trades and transactions that last seconds or minutes and take advantage of short term movements in asset prices. All positions are opened and closed within the same day. Types of day trading include high frequency trading of stocks, foreign exchange, HFX, cryptocurrency like Bitcoin, and commodities like gold. Long-term investing, on the other hand, involves taking trades that last months or even years. These are buy and hold trades rather than the quick buy, hold, and sell trades. We can buy and hold shares or stock in Domlek, our credit unions, other regional companies, or even on the international market like Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, and Tesla. But which should I choose? Day trading, long-term investing, or both? Well, it first depends on your financial goals and your risk tolerance or appetite. The greater the risk, the greater the reward. Do you want to earn cash now? Are you interested in equity and earning dividends? Buying and holding for the long term earns you a more passive, form of income and wealth generation. Unlike with day trading, you run the risk of constant vigilance and risk of trading. If you've never invested before, consider these four areas that will help you to decide on your investment portfolio. Number one, minimum investment requirements. To trade stocks or currencies or Bitcoin in the region, you'll need to maintain a brokerage account balance of at least 100 US online. Remember, we can do it regionally, but we'll have to find a local or regional broker to do so as well. Depending on how you choose to invest, whether it's through a broker or a multi-level marketer, HFX, the investment capital requirement varies. There is no set minimum to invest. It depends on how much money you can put in and how much money you can afford to lose. But it's important to take note of the commissions and fees that are charged when trading. Number two, differing time commitments. Day trading requires a daily commitment, at least about two hours a day. The first hours that the U.S. market officially opens for trading are usually the best time to capitalize on large price movements. High frequency traders should also spend time reviewing their trades every day and at the end of the week. However, long-term investing and the research that goes with it can be done at any time. Fundamental and technical analysis is imperative with long-term investing. You need to understand a company's free cash flow management, earnings, competitive advantage, and its future plans before buying a stock to hold. Number three, skills and personality traits. 
Any type of securities trading requires serious commitment up front to research and create strategies that work. Don't just sign up because it's attractive to do so. Day trading and long-term investing require emotional discipline. Trades must be opened and exited based on specific trade triggers from pre-formulated and back-tested strategies. Emotionally entering a trade without a trade trigger is undisciplined and can lead to loss of funds. I know, I've lost a bit. Day trading and long-term investing requires patience. Watching every little price movement can seduce a trader into making a trade without the correct triggers. Successful day trading and investing requires smarts, but you should convert your book smarts into usable knowledge. So read books and watch videos from Warren Buffett, Robert Kiyosaki, Mark Cuban, and take what you like from them. Do this until you have a method of entering and exiting the market and managing your risk. Don't get greedy. Number four, which one offers higher potential returns? Because we want our money to make money, yes? Comparing day trading returns to long-term investing returns is like comparing apples to oranges. Day trading requires significant time investment while long-term investing requires less time. Day traders can make about 0.5 to 3% per trade per day. That's about 10 to 60% a month lucrative, right? However, a day trading account can rapidly decline if you're losing 1% to 2% daily. With loads of stock out there to choose from and a longer time frame to accumulate your positions, long-term investors have averaged about 10% per year. Long-term traders benefit from equity and capital gain. So which should you choose? Remember, it depends on your financial goals and your risk tolerance. When it comes to investing, compound interest can turn hundreds into thousands. Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. According to Warren Buffett, he who understands it earns it, he who doesn't pays it. We can't build wealth by saving alone. We need to invest our money. Money is a tool, so we need to get maximum value from it. Remember, it's not how much money you make, it's how much money you keep. So watch your spending, save for rainy days, and invest. When it comes to investing, we need to ensure we have proper risk management techniques. Don't get greedy. Be mindful of the teams you join and only invest money you can afford to lose. In part two, we speak to an actual local investor and trader. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. You don't want to miss this. See you next time.